Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Seasalt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter Q. Keep a lookout for quail, quicksand, Queen Anne's lace, and quilt. You're all in for quite a treat. Oh, whoop, time to start the show. All aboard! I... I be feeling a bit queasy. Lanto! Ah, I be better. Quick, mateys, we've landed! Where are we, Captain Seasalt? Looks like a cute, quiet island, Maya. How <gasps> quaint! Are we prepared to explore the island and search for treasure, Captain Seasalt? Quite! All ashore, who's going ashore? Right. Everyone ready for a thrilling quest? Aye, aye, Captain. Today we are going to explore Q Island. We are here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll take us to the treasure. The first thing we want to equate ourselves with, Pedro, is something that starts with the letter Q. Hey, who's that? It's a quail, Sammy. Quails are small birds, kind of like chickens. They spend a lot of time on the ground. I'm going to call you Quayla. Quayla the quail. Hey, quail begins with the letter Q. And it's the first clue on our map. Look, there's another one. Why does it look Different. That's because it's a male quail. I'm going to call you Quentin. Males have brightly colored feathers, like Quentin here. Female quails, like Quayla, have duller colors to blend in with the ground. Look, the quail eggs are quivering. I think they're hatching. Aww, what proud parents and cute little babies. Shh, let's be quiet. The quails are going for a nap. Help! Come quick! Uh-oh, sounds like Ellie's in trouble. Quickly, let's find her. She's fallen into some quicksand. What a quandary. We must set her free. Grab her hands and pull. <laughs> pull harder. <laughs> Arr, no quitting. Oh, thank you, thank you. What is this stuff? That be quicksand. It's loose, wet sand that sucks in anything that falls into it. It's a good thing that you guys were quick to come rescue me. The other good news is that quicksand is the next clue on our map. Quality work, Ellie. You found the next clue. Even if you didn't mean to. <laughs> You're right. I'm sure the treasure is close by. Come on. Flowers. They're so small. Arr, these flowers be called Queen Anne's lace. Because they be so little, they look like fine, delicate lace. <laughs> How quaint. Queen Anne's lace starts with the letter Q. And it's the final clue on our quest. The treasure has to be close by. <laughs> hey, that sounds like Jimmy. Oh, maybe he's found something. Hey, what's Jimmy standing on? Good quest, 
question. It looks like a blanket with many different squares of pattern fabric. It's quite soft. I know. It's a quilt. And it looks like it's covering something. What could it be? It's the treasure. Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> now, let's end our quest and see what's inside. Wow, yum, it's quiche. What's that? It's pie made out of eggs. It's delicious and shall quell our hunger as well as quench our thirst for adventure. Yay! Yay! We can use this quilt as a picnic blanket. This was quite the adventure after all. What a quirky adventure. And that was one quality quiche. Mmm. Did you catch all the things that start with the letter Q? Great. Let's see if you can spot the other Q words found on Q Island. Did an archer forget his belongings on Q Island? For there be a quiver. A quiver is used to hold archers' arrows, bolts, and darts to allow them to walk freely while carrying a quantity of arrows over their shoulder, like a backpack. After all that quiche, I don't think I have room for a quesadilla. A quesadilla is a tortilla filled with cheese, vegetables, meats, and spices, then grilled nice and flat. Before washing me laundry, I always do a quick check of me pockets for loose change. Like quarters. Quarters are coins, each worth 25 cents. When you put four quarters together, you get a whole dollar. That piece of paper be covered in queries. It must be a quiz. A quiz is a short test, meant to grade how well a person knows a topic. Good thing I did some quality studying. Everyone be on their best behavior. Here comes a queen. A queen is the ruler of her people. A rule that is passed down through a long family line. Queens aren't just found in human societies. Insects have them too. Just look at the queen bee. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter Q. You're all so quick-witted. And I hope to see you on the next island quest. Until then, I hope we're quickly reacquainted. Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Seasalt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter R. Keep a lookout for robin, roses, reindeer, rooster, roost, rabbit, and raccoon. I'm sure that list is reasonable. Oh, the time to start the show. All aboard! Reeks of rotten fish. My favorite. Land ho! Ahoy, mateys! We've landed! Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? A remarkable new island, Maya. Righteous! Really? Are we going to explore this region and search for treasure? Aye, crewmates. We shall have a first rate adventure. The race is on! All ye report to deck! Right. Is everyone ready to retrieve the treasure? Aye, aye, Captain! Today we are going to explore our island. We are right here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, we'll reach the treasure. Right you are, Pedro. The first thing we're looking for is something that starts with the letter R. Hey, where's that treasure?
chirping coming from? I'm not sure. I recognize that bird. It's a robin. I'm gonna name you Roberta. Roberta the Robin. Robins love to sing. Look, Roberta landed on a bush with dark red flowers. Dar, I reckon that be a rose bush. Right. Roses are very pretty, but their stems are covered in razor sharp thorns. Be careful. Robin and Rosebush both start with the letter R. They're the first clues on our map. I wonder if Roberta the Robin can help us find the next clue. Best regards, Roberta. We're looking for a hidden treasure. Can you direct us? After her! It's a really big reindeer, Ellie. I think his name is Reginald. Reginald the reindeer. Reindeer are enormous deer that grow large antlers on their heads. They are big. And I bet they look like tree branches to a bird. <laughs> <laughs> if we've read the map rightly, reindeer is another clue. I wonder what's next. Hey, what's that? I feel like I've heard it before. Let's go find out where it's coming from. Come on! <coughs> it's a rooster. I believe it's Rudy the rooster. Rad! Roosters are male chickens that like to crow loudly. They also like to stand high above on a roost to guard their territory. Hey, Rudy sees something. Over yonder. It's a rabbit. I think it's Regina the rabbit. Look at her ears. They're long and they can move around so she can hear soft noises which comes in handy when you live underground in burrows. Hello, Regina the Rabbit. I'm Sammy. We're looking for a hidden treasure. Would you happen to know the way? I can't tell if she's saying yes or just enjoying a hop. Rabbits do adore hopping. It's how they get around. Well, whatever she's doing, let's follow her. I'm tired of hopping. I need a rest. Oh, pirate youth today. Thank you for your help, Regina. The treasure must be close by now. Hmm, I don't see anything, though. Hey, what's... That! It's a raccoon. And it's relaxing on a treasure chest. It looks like he smells something tasty inside. The aroma will be revealed once we remove the top. Arr. Red raspberries! Hmm. They appear to be perfectly ripe. What a really remarkable adventure. Right on! Yay! Remember to keep in touch! What a radical adventure! And those red raspberries? A real reward! Did you catch all the things that start with the letter R? Great! Let's see if you can spot the other R words found on R Island. Hear that coin? Reckon that be a raven. Ravens are large blackbirds. 
but rather intelligent with good memory and sense of recall. They often use pebbles and other small objects as tools. Who is that with an upright horn? Why, it's a rhinoceros. The rhinoceros's name literally means nose horn. And though they are rough and tough in a fight, they only eat plants. That sounds like a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes have rattles that grow on the end of their tails, kind of like toenails. They shake the rattle to warn predators to run away. For if you get too close, they have a really venomous bite. Who's that rustling over there? Why, it's a rat. Rats are medium-sized rodents who are good at remembering things. Though city rats get a bad rap, Rats are rather clean creatures that spend a good amount of time grooming themselves. Everyone, raise your hands if you want raisins. <laughs> raisins are a snack made by drying out grapes right after harvesting them. You can eat raisins on their own or use them in baking. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter R rather resourceful. And I hope to see you on the next island we reach. Until then, you can kick back, rest, and relax. Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Seasalt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter S. Keep a lookout for squirrel, sunflowers, sea lion, sea horse, starfish, and snail. Sounds simple? <laughs> Ooh, it's time to start the show. All aboard! Nothing like a spin in the sea. Land ho! Huh? Stellar job, Ellie. You're right. Signal the sailors, Pepper. Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? We've stumbled upon a stunning new island, Maya. Super! Are we going to explore the island to seek out the treasure? Something like that. Let's ship out and step ashore. Sweet. Everyone ready for a sensational adventure? Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Today we are going to explore S Island. We'll start here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, we should see the treasure. The first thing we're looking for, Pedro, is something that starts with the letter S. Hey, look! It's a speedy squirrel! Squirrels are rodents that have bushy tails, and they love to scoot up trees. Squirrel begins with the letter S. Hello, squirrel! May I call you Senor Squirrel? Senor Squirrel is the first clue on our map. Maybe Senor Squirrel can send us to the next clue, Sammy. Hola, Senor Squirrel. We're searching for hidden treasure. Could you help us find it? Let's see where he's sprinting to. Wow, what are these sensational flowers? They're sunflowers. They grow super tall and they especially love the sun. Sunflowers have a very tasty seed. And the sunflower is the second clue on our map. Hmm, I wonder where we go next. <laughs> hey, that sounds like Pepper. I wonder what he spotted. <laughs> what do you see, Pepper? <laughs> Sweet Pepper, you found a sea lion sitting on a stone. 
phone. <laughs> Hello there. I'm going to call you Selena. Selena the sea lion. Sea lions have flippers that help them swim speedily. They love to eat fish of all sorts. <laughs> Whoa, that looks like fun! <laughs> Skillful swimming, Pepper. You're as smooth as Selena the sea lion, so it seems. Or, or, or. <laughs> Call him Seymour the Seahorse. Seahorses are fish that can camouflage themselves using the sea plants around them. That's pretty special. I spy something else. A starfish. Starfish use their long arms to crawl across the sea floor. I'm gonna call her Stella. Stella the Starfish. What spectacular animals! So, does anyone know where we go next? Hey, look here! Ellie seems to know. Let's go! I found the last clue on our map. Who is it, Ellie? It's a smiling snail. I'm going to call him Smiley the Snail. Snails are animals that live in shells that they carry on their backs. What's up, Smiley? We're looking for a secret treasure. Would you happen to know where it is? Then let's go! Um... I forgot how slowly snails move. Well, if you had to carry your home on your back, you'd go slow, too. <laughs> you said it. Looks like we're here, though. Finally. Hey, it's the treasure. You did it, Smiley. Thanks for your help. Sincerely. Aye, now let's see what swanky swag's inside. Strawberries! Superb! It was so worth the wait. What a swell adventure. <laughs> I don't think our adventure is quite over yet. It's Senora Sea Turtle. I think she wants to give us a ride back to the ship. Sweet! Sweet. So long. So long. See ya, senora and senora. What a swell adventure. And those strawberries were super sweet. Did you catch all the things that start with the letter S? Great. Let's see if you can spot the other S words scattered around S Island. Who's that slithering along in the water? Why, it's a salamander. Salamanders are amphibians, so they live near or in water. They catch their food using their long and sticky tongues, which are the swiftest tongues in the world. Let's slow things down for a second to study the sloth. Sloths are mammals that have especially long, curved claws. They use these claws to slowly climb and hang from tree branches. What's that I spy? Why, that'd be a snapping turtle. Snapping turtles are large, freshwater turtles that have supremely strong jaws. 
Now there be a squishy sort of sea creature. It's a squid. Squids have eight arms and two long tentacles. Some of them even glow in the dark. Oh, see that? It's a swan. Swans are the largest relatives of ducks and geese. They sport long, curved necks and spend their days swimming serenely on the water. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter S. A successful search. And I hope to see you on the next island we stop by. Until then, stay super. Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Seasalt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter T. Keep a lookout for tortoise, turkey, tiger, and toucan. I'm just tickled to trek together. <laughs> Whoop, time to start the show. All aboard! What in tarnation? Turn out, mateys! Woof, woof. Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? We've traveled to a tantalizing new island. Terrific! Are we going to explore the island and try to find the treasure? Aye, the time has come, Maya. Take your leave, Pirate Ellie! Dar! Perfect landing. I give that a 10 out of 10. Ah, everyone ready for a top-notch adventure? Aye, 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 Captain. Today we are going to explore T Island. We are here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll take us to the treasure. Right you are, Pedro. And the first thing we're looking for is something that starts with the letter T. Hey, look over there! It's a tortoise. A tortoise is a kind of turtle that only lives on land. They have large shells to protect themselves. Tortoise starts with the letter T. And it's also the first clue on our map. Good morning. May I call you Tori the tortoise? We're looking for a hidden treasure. Would you be able to take us to it? Let's follow her! <laughs> Thanks for your help, Tori the tortoise. You're a true teammate. Hmm, are we sure this is it? I don't see the next clue. What a tremendous sound. What is that thing? Aye, tis a turkey, Sammy. A kind of bird with towering tail feathers. <laughs> and a call like no other. Each turkey has a unique voice. That's how they can tell each other apart. Arr. Just like people have different voices. Hey, can I call you Taylor the turkey? Totally cool. Ah! Talk about unique voices. I think I can guess who made that terrifying sound. Let's go see. But shh, we've got to tiptoe. I knew it. It's a tiger. Tigers are the biggest species of cat and they have stripes to help them blend into their surroundings. And Tiger is the next clue on our map. I think I'll name her Trixie. Trixie the Tiger. Trixie looks so tranquil sleeping like that. Let's let her be. Uh, let's continue our trek, mateys. This 
trail led nowhere. Any pirates see the next clue? <laughs> now there's a voice I recognize. Let's find out where it's coming from. <laughs> Jimmy! There you are! Hey, wait a second, Jimmy. You're a toucan. I, toucan starts with the letter T. Jimmy, I think you're the last clue. Oh, I know another thing that starts with the letter T. Treasure! Terrific job, Jimmy. Let's find out what's inside. Top notch! They're tangerines. A tasty treat. Oh. What a terrific adventure! Ta -ta! Ta -ta! Next time! Ta -ta! What a terrific adventure! And those tangerines were a total treat! Did you catch all the things that start with the letter T? Great! Let's see if you can spot the other T words found on T Island. Oh, who is this tiny tyrant? Why, it be a Tasmanian devil. The Tasmanian devil is a marsupial and about the size of a small dog. They have the strongest bite in the animal kingdom. Who's that in that old tree there? Termites. Termites are insects that are divided into kings, queens, soldiers, and workers. The worker termites mainly eat old timbers, a terrific task for them. Oh, tarnation. There were two treasure chests on this island. A treasure chest is a large box full of what every pirate searches for. Treasure, eh, mostly fruits and vegetables in our case. After a day of excitement, there's nothing like a tranquil cup of tea. Tea is a hot drink made by boiling cured leaves in hot water. Careful drinking hot tea too soon. I try to wait for my tea to get tepid. Ah, that's a toe-tapping tune if I've ever heard one. Oh, it must be coming from a trumpet. Trumpets are brass wind instruments that you blow into. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter T. Tremendous technique. And I hope to see you on the next island we take a trip to. Until then, have a tubular time. Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Sea Salt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter U. Keep a lookout for unicorn, urchins, ukulele, and umbrella bird. Up to the challenge. <laughs> Woo, time to start the show. All aboard! to untie me. Utmost speed, mateys. Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? We've arrived at an unfamiliar new island. Unbelievable! Are we going to explore the island to uncover the treasure? Undoubtedly. Up and at him. Rather, <laughs> down and at him. All righty, everyone ready for the ultimate pirate adventure? Aye, aye, aye Captain! Oh. 
Today we are going to explore U Island. We are here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll lead us to the treasure. The first thing we're looking for is something that starts with the letter U. What? Unbelievable! What is it, Maya? It's a unicorn, Pedro! No way! Unicorns are one-horned horses that are only found in fairy tales. Are you sure? Because there's one standing right here on this island. How unexpected! Well, unicorn does start with the letter U, and it is the first clue on our map. This is unreal! Hello there. You are such a beautiful and rare creature. May I call you Unique? Unique the Unicorn? <laughs> Unique, we're looking for a hidden treasure. Would you be able to help us uncover it? <laughs> Come on, let's follow her! Thank you, Unique. So, where are we? Is this where the next clue is? Maybe. Hey, what are those purple spiky things? Why, they be urchins. Sea urchins are tiny animals that live on the ocean floor. They're fond of eating algae. What unusual creatures. Toodaloo! Good news! Those urchins were the next clue on our map. Are then, where to now? Hey, check out what I found! Make haste! We're underway, Sammy! Neat! What is that? It's a ukulele! It's a musical instrument! You play it! Like this! Nice! It has an unmistakable sound. You're uncommonly good, Sammy. <laughs> Welcome to Sammy's hat. Uh, who are you? Me thinks this birdie likes the sound of your strumming. What kind of bird is he? And what is that thing on his head? It's an umbrella bird, Ellie. They're found in the rainforest. The feathers on their head look like an umbrella, which is how they got their name. I'm gonna call him Umberto the Umbrella Bird. Umberto's unlike any bird I've ever seen. The umbrella bird is the last clue on our map. Then the treasure must be nearby. <laughs> well, this rain is utterly unexpected. What are we going to do? We need to get under something. Follow Umberto. Hey, look there. The treasure. Ready for the unveiling? Umbrellas! How useful! R R R. Now we can get back to the ship without getting soaked. What an unpredictable adventure! Many thanks for helping us unearth this urgently needed treasure, Umberto. <laughs> <laughs> A unique adventure. And a good thing we unearthed those umbrellas. Did you catch all the things that start with the letter U? Great. Let's see if you can spot the other U words found on U Island. Is that 
bicycle missing a wheel? <laughs> no, it's a unicycle. A unicycle has just one wheel that some folks can balance on. Others can even juggle while riding a unicycle. Unbelievable! While that may look like an ordinary cake with fruit on top, did you know it was made upside down? Upside down cake is made by placing chopped or sliced fruits on the bottom of the pan and pouring the cake batter on top. After it's baked into a cake, it gets flipped to be right side up, so the batter goes back underneath. Those are utensils. Utensils are small tools that help us eat without having to use our hands directly on our food. The utensils include forks, spoons, and knives. Playing dress up with that uniform? <laughs> a uniform is a type of clothing that lets people understand that you are part of a group or profession. It can be anything from a school uniform to a police uniform, <laughs> unless you're with the undercover police. <laughs> it's an umpire. Umpires are sports officials in the game of baseball. They keep an eye on the ball and make the final call. Strike three, you're out. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter U. You are the ultimate uncoverers. And I hope to see you on the next island we land upon. Until then, have an unparalleled day. Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Sea Salt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter V. Keep a lookout for vulture, violets, and vampire bat. Stay vigilant, and you will have a victory. Whoop! Time to start the show. All aboard! Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? We've voyaged to a vast new island, Maya. Let's enjoy this vacation. Very cool! What a great view! Are we going to explore the island and search for the treasure? Verily! That means yes, certainly, Ellie! Impressive! Now, are we ready to vacate the ship and go on an adventure? Aye, aye, Captain! Today we are going to explore V Island. We are here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll lead us to the valuable treasure. The first thing we're looking for, Pedro, is something that starts with the letter V. Overhead! Wow! What is that? It's a vulture. Vultures are very big birds. They're scavengers, which means they eat various food items that have been left behind. He must have good eyes to see food from all the way up there. Maybe he has a view of the treasure. Excuse me, may I call you Vlad? Vlad the Vulture? <laughs> Very good. We're looking for hidden treasure. Do you know which direction we should go? <laughs> He's veering off that way. Come on, let's follow. Thanks for your help, Vlad. these flowers. I wonder what they are. I know. Violets. They're so vibrant. Violets are the next clue on our map. I wonder where we'll venture to next. Hey guys, look what I found over here. 
Is that, Ellie? This is a vampire bat. <gasps> a vampire? Scary! Shh. Don't worry, Sammy. They're not vicious. Especially when they're sleeping. Like this one. Sleeping? But it's the middle of the day. Bats are nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and are active at night. This bat doesn't know it, but I've named her Vanna. Vanna the Vampire Bat. Well, then let's leave so we don't wake her. Vanna the Vampire Bat is the very last clue on our map. The treasure must be in the vicinity. It is. Come on. Let's see what's inside. I hope it be something valuable. Hi, a variety of vegetables. Vegetables be vital for staying strong and healthy. I mean, they be fine for feasting. Mmm, I can virtually taste them. I have a feeling this treasure is going to vanish very quickly. Um, um. Sorry to vacate! On to our next adventure! What a valuable adventure! And the vast variety of vegetables! Mmm! Did you catch all the things that start with the letter V? Great! Let's see if you can spot the other V words found on V Island. There's a very small friend. It's a vole. A vole is a small rodent with shorter and rounder features than a mouse. Though they live underground, voles are also very proficient swimmers. What's that you're holding? Why, it's a volleyball. Volleyballs are used in the team sport called volleyball. The goal is to get the ball over the net and to have it hit the opposing team's floor before they can volley it back. Oh, is there a sound more vibrant than that of a violin? A violin is a string instrument dating back to the 16th century. When a bow is drawn across the four strings, the violin makes divine sounds. <laughs> Smell that. It must be vinegar. Vinegar is a cooking ingredient that is used with many different foods, from fish and chips to rice and beans. Such a variety. If I had to choose my favorite ice cream flavor, I'd vote vanilla. Vanilla ice cream gets its flavor from the vanilla bean, which grows in pods on a plant called the vanilla orchid. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter V. You sure showed your vim and vigor. And I hope to see you on the next island we visit. Until then, I hope your days are filled with valuable thoughts. Mm -hmm.